hello students welcome to my channel today i am going to discuss about introduction to algorithm so first of all an algorithm is a step by step procedure for solving a problem in a finite number of steps so if you want to solve one particular problem so the problem is divided into smaller steps by using those steps we need to solve the problem we need to find out the solution for the problem so that procedure is known as algorithm an algorithm itself is a division of problem into smaller steps which are ordered in sequence and easily understandable okay so by using algorithm we can solve the problem in a step by step manner algorithms are very important to the way computers process information because a computer program is basically an algorithm that tells the computer what specific task to perform in a specific order to accomplish a specific task so in a computer also total task are treated as algorithms which tells how the problem is solved how the task are performed the same problem can be solved with different methods so for solving same problems we use different types of algorithms okay so here for a specific operation for specific uh, for performing specific operation or for solving specific problems we use algorithms those are step by step procedures for solving the problems okay next characteristics of an algorithm so what are the characteristics of algorithm those are finiteness an algorithm should have finite number of steps okay and it should end after a finite time every algorithm should have start point and end point next characteristic is input an algorithm may have many inputs or no inputs at all an algorithm may or may not contain input next one is output an algorithm should contain at least one output next one definiteness each step must be clear well defined and precise means simple small there should be no any ambiguity ambiguity means confusion okay so algorithm should be clear next one is effectiveness each step must be simple and should take a finite amount of time okay so these are the characteristics of algorithm next following guidelines must be followed while developing an algorithm so these are the some guidelines for writing algorithm so the first guideline is an algorithm will be enclosed by start or begin and stop or end okay so every algorithm should start with start or begin and end with stop or end okay to accept data from user generally we use the statement like input read get or obtain so if you want to take input from the user then you need to use these words input read get or obtain for displaying messages we use print display or write so you can use any of these words generally compute or calculate is used while describing arithmetic expressions and based on situation relevant operations can be used so here compute or calculate both are same these are used for mathematical expressions okay so let's see some algorithm examples so the first example is develop an algorithm to find the average of three numbers taken as input from the user so here you need to perform the average of three numbers so for this first you need to perform addition then you need to perform average so first you need to perform addition of three numbers then you need to perform average okay so here average of three numbers so 
the three numbers must be taken as input from the user so i already told the algorithm should start with uh, just wait the algorithm should start with the start and end with stop okay so first input first number into variable a so the variable a stores first number that is 10 which is given by user next input second number into variable b that is 20 next input third number into variable c that is 30 okay so in this way we need to take input from the user next fifth step is compute sum is equals to a plus b plus c so here compute means calculate so here a value is 10 b value is 20 and c value is 30 a plus b plus c is equals to 60 so this 60 is stored in sum okay next we need to calculate average average is equals to sum divided by number number of integers so here number of integers are 3 so sum we already calculated that is 60 60 divided by 3 3 ones are 3 twos are so average stores 20 so the 20 is stored in average then we are displaying 20 so in this way we need to solve particular problem by using step by step procedure this step by step procedure is known as algorithm i hope it is clear let's see one more example so here in example 2 we need to develop an algorithm to divide a divide one number by another number and find quotient okay so here we need to perform division operation so for division operation we need to take two inputs from the user okay so first start and then end so here we need to take two inputs so a is equals to 10 b is equals to 5 okay next so here we are checking one condition that is if b not equals to 0 then q is equals to a by b so why we are checking this condition why because so for example a is equals to 10 and b is equals to 0 for example okay next so here we are checking the condition b not equals to 0 yes b not equals to 0 for example b is equals to 0 that is 10 by 0 so the number which is divisible by 0 is not possible so that's why we are checking the condition at first whether b is 0 or not so in this situation b is not 0 b is 5 okay so here b is not equals to 0 then q is equals to a by b that is 10 by 5 5 ones are 5 twos are so 2 is stored in q then we are displaying q so that is q is equals to 2 2 is the output and so here started if and this is ended if and this is start and this is stop in this way we need to perform the operations okay we need to solve the problems next one more example develop an algorithm to find the maximum of two numbers input by user so in this algorithm we need to find out the maximum of two numbers so here we need to take two inputs from the user okay so that's why a is equals to 19 and b is equals to 99 okay so in these two numbers we need to find out what is the maximum number okay so for this purpose we are checking one condition that is if a greater than b so a value is 19 and b value is 99 
ओके टेल मी ए नाइनटीन ग्रेटर दैन नाइंटी नाइन इज इट ट्रू नो नाइंटीन इज नॉट ग्रेटर दैन नाइंटी नाइन सो दिस कंडीशन इज फॉल्स सो दैट्स वाई एल्स पार्टी इज एक्सिक्यूटेड सो इफ फर सपोज फर सपोज सो हियर ए वैल्यू इज नाइंटी नाइन एंड बी वैल्यू इज नाइंटीन सो देन वी आर चेकिंग द कंडीशन नाइंटी नाइन ग्रेटर दैन नाइंटीन ए ग्रेटर दैन बी इन दिस सिचुएशन ए इज ग्रेटर दैन बी यस इट इज ट्रू सो द मैक्म वैल्यू इज ए इफ द कंडीशन इज ट्रू देन द स्टेटमेंट्स आर एग्जीक्यूटेड इफ द कंडीशन इज फॉल्स देन एल्स स्टेटमेंट्स आर एग्जीक्यूटेड दिस स्टेटमेंट्स आर नॉट एग्जीक्यूटेड ओके नेक्स्ट वी आर डिस्प्लेइंग द मैक्सिमम वैल्यू डिस्प्ले मैक्स दैट इज मैक्सिमम वैल्यू इज ए ओके देन स्टॉप आई होप इट इज क्लियर नेक्स्ट एडवांटेजेस ऑफ एन अलगरिदम सो व्हाट आर द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ अलगरिदम effective communication since algorithm is written in english like language it is simple to understand step by step solution of the problem so here all the algorithm is written in english language so it is easy to understandable by the it is understand to the humans so it is simple to understand step by step solution next advantage is easy debugging so here debugging is identifying errors or mistakes okay bug is mistake or error debugging means correcting of errors is nothing but debugging easy debugging well defined algorithm makes debugging easy so that we can identify mistakes very easily in the program okay next easy and efficient coding an algorithm acts as blueprint of program and helps during a program development so here blueprint is nothing but a design by using algorithm by seeing algorithm we can easily develop the programs okay for developing algorithms sorry for developing programs algorithms are very useful next one is independent of programming language so algorithms are not dependent on any programming language so algorithms are developed by using english language okay that is high level language high level language is nothing but english language okay so i hope it is clear if you have any doubts regarding to this video please comment me in the comment section and if you have any doubts on a uh, topic or if you want any topic please comment me in the comment section for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you